When times get tough, the tough get going. That's exactly what Paralympic athlete Jason Regeer did after a near-fatal car accident left him paralyzed from the neck down. It was long highway, and I was basically just reaching down, changing a radio station. And in that instance, my wheel got off the road, and there was some construction there, so it went down a couple inches, and I slowly tried to steer it back on, my back wheel went off, and I was going sideways and backwards on the highway. And I ended up going in the median, rolled my Jeep three times, landed on the wheels, but I dislocated and broke my neck. And from there, I was immediately paralyzed, basically from the neck down. Instead of dwelling on the past and basking in a sea of negativity, Jason gathered both his pride and his determination and set forth on a new type of journey, a journey that would ultimately give him his life back. Uh, I remember, I basically, I told my mom, I was like, tell them to, you know, unchain me. I was like, I thought I was strapped down for spasms or for something. And they're like, there's nothing on you but a sheet. That's kind of when it hits home. You're like, I can't move because I've got a sheet on me. For the next three and a half months, instead of preparing for his graduation with his fellow classmates, Jason was at Craig Hospital in Denver, preparing for a life in a wheelchair. You know, the whole process of rehabilitation takes a long time. It's not that you just go through the hospital and you're ready to go. Jason's determination is what sets him apart from other athletes. His motivation drives others to succeed. Soon after his accident, Jason was introduced to something that would become his passion and eventually lead him to great success. That something was the sport of quad rugby, a game that uses armored wheelchairs as weapons of defense in a battle of both endurance and athleticism. The only difference is that the game isn't played on a field, it's played on a court, and the athletes don't run, they glide. So quad rugby is played with four people on a basketball court, and it's basically modified basketball. So you have 10 seconds to inbound the ball, you have 12 seconds to advance the ball into the front court, and you need to score within 40 seconds. The other rules are you need to dribble the ball every 10 seconds, and the chairs are specially modified for the game, but the game is full chair contact. That's legal. Jason's persistence and determination set a path that would eventually lead him to an Olympic gold medal at the 2008 Paralympic Games in Beijing. It has also brought Jason to the doors of the Colorado Sports Hall of Fame, where he was honored on April 14th as Colorado's 2008 Disabled Athlete of the Year. My first full year that I played and traveled rugby was 1998 and I went four tournaments that year and I happened to be seen by two national team coaches and I got invited to um, a USA tryout and so from there I trained for it I was picked as an alternate in 1999 for that team and that kind of set the fire with for me that I could possibly play at that level and I honestly kind of set the Athens Olympics as my goal. I had been cut four different times for Team USA till I finally made the team in 2006. When not on the court, Jason finds other ways to stay fit and to maintain the peak physical condition he needs to compete at an Olympic level. When you don't have a lot of physical function, um, you need to stay at things. When I'd played sports before and when I'd played in college, you don't understand how much potential you have and what you can do with your body. So for me, I mean, it took me years to learn how to push and play the game. Um, and that was probably my biggest gift. I kept getting cut from these teams and I didn't know if I'd ever make it. One of the players that had been playing at that level had been phenomenal for years and I basically had to outplay everybody. And so to basically, it's almost harder making the team than it is sometimes winning tournaments with Team USA. Jason, along with two other athletes from the Denver Harlequins, will be competing with Team USA in September for the 2010 World Championships in Vancouver. You know, for anybody that has a disability, whether it be a spinal cord injury or anything, is to, to keep at things. What I've found is that the injury doesn't change the person who you are. So I was very active, very athletic, and those things, although they changed, I didn't play soccer or do specific sports, I've still been able to do it in different ways. And so if there's something you wanna do out there, try it and keep going. 
Honestly, everything that I've done has been impossible at first time. I tried it, anything that I've done. So it's just, it's always a matter of taking those first steps and keep going.